Okay, I found this stuff a little interesting. Um, it was holy, holy, Batman. We're all pagans. And we didn't even know it. Um, found this interesting, especially in light of the temples going up. So, enjoy. The whole world worships the beast because they already are. And they have been for thousands of years. Our pagan traditions, what's his name? George Barna wrote a book called Pagan Christianity. And in his book, he basically says, you know, if you look at the practices of the church today, there's a pretty good chance none of our usual practices that we do today mirror anything in the first century. The, the followers of the way, they weren't doing what we're doing. We've got it all wrong. We've got so many things in, our, in the traditions uh, of Christianity today and just the way we do church in general that have nothing to do with the biblical model and, in fact, have more to do with the worship of Nimrod, Baal, Osiris, okay? And this is getting real serious, I think. <laughs> um, lines are going to be drawn in the sand in the very near future. And it just drives me crazy that churches will rather hold on to their vain traditions over the truth of Scripture just for the benefit of financial gain. And there's a whole lot of people right now that are unified in the lie. This is David, who says, we have friends who do not celebrate Christmas because they say December 25th is really a pagan holiday. While I agree that Jesus may not have been born on December 25th, he certainly was born as described in the Bible. How do I respond to them? Well, in a sense, tell them they're right. Uh, you see, the, the, the winter solstice a couple of days later was the shortest day of the year. And the pagans had something called Saturnalia. And it was a time of lawlessness because all the laws were suspended. And people, the, a bunch of singers were actually wandered the streets naked singing. And, and then they had orgies, sexual orgies. It was a mass thing. Well, when the Catholic Church came along in Italy, the, the Romans and others didn't want to give up their holidays. So they said, okay, we'll Christianize it. And uh, so they said, okay, we'll say the birth of Jesus was the 25th of December. All this business about mistletoe, pagan. Christmas trees, pagan. Giving out gifts, pagan. Every bit of it is pagan. Every single bit of it is pagan. We've Christianized it all. And uh, so that's good. And so we have time. We celebrate for Jesus. And everybody gets all misty-eyed. But the truth is, we, they're all pagan. And I've shown how important Yahuwah's name really is, and that the Hebrew word for Lord, uh, I know there's a, a Hebrew word, Adonai. I get it. Adonai means Lord. Uh, but so does Baal. Baal, uh, the, the meaning of the, the name or the word Baal or Baal is Lord. Look, our, our, that's not the name of our God. Our God's name is not the Lord. I know your Bible says that, but that's not his name. Go to any good concordance and, and look underneath where your King James Bibles it has capital L-O-R-D. Look it up, and you'll see over 6,000 times they replace the name of our God with a generic title. That just so happens to also be the meaning of the name slash word Baal. So we have the holy name of our God replaced over 6,000 times in our Bible with a word that it is not just a title, but a name for the Antichrist. So when you learn that, and in light of this, it's one of those things that makes you go, hmm, that's interesting.